Many years analyzing the ozone molecule and exploring ways to harness its properties. These efforts have resulted in the development of the most efficient ozone generators available. Ozone is formed when air is drawn into an electrically charged reaction chamber. The electrical energy splits the oxygen molecules in the air into unstable atoms. These unstable atoms then bond with other oxygen molecules to form O3 or ozone. When injected into wastewater, ozone oxidizes the contaminants. After filtering, this water is ready for recirculation and reuse in the system. Think of a bolt of lightning, electrical energy, passing through the atmosphere, ambient air or oxygen. The lightning bolt splits the oxygen molecules and forms ozone. Particular interest to those in the vegetable and fruit packing industries clean agricultural system. The system is a closed loop that operates by capturing the water used in the washing stage as it drains off the fruit or vegetables. This water is ozonated to oxidize dirt and other, and other particles rinsed from the skin or peel. Next, the water passes through a filter system where these particles are removed. Finally, the clean water is recirculated, ready for reuse. The discharge of contaminated wastewater is eliminated and the need for additional water is minimal since the only water lost is due to evaporation and filter backwash. Keep in mind that each system is custom engineered to meet a facility's needs, but the method of operation is basically the same. The water used to spray the fruit is collected as it flows into the drain pans. This water is piped into the main sump. From here, the water is pumped into a static mixer then into a settling tank. Any sludge floats to the top of the tank for removal. This water is then pumped through a solids filter before entering the storage tank. There the water enters the ozone system where it is ozonated and pumped through another solids filter. This supplies the contact tank with clean water. This water is now ready for recirculation and reuse in the packing houses washing system. A typical Florida packing house uses 30 gallons of water per minute in the washing operation. That means 1800 gallons of water are used each hour. During a normal 10 hour workday, 18,000 gallons of water are discharged into sewers or holding ponds. Think of all the pesticides and fungicides carried in the water as it sinks into the ground with the aquifer as its final destination. In my experience, I've found that food processing plants have a number of concerns with their effluents. Performed very well in that it reduced the biological oxygen demand dramatically. Another area of concern is the oil and grease. Citrus processing plants produce a lot of oils and greases during their processing. A final area which is very important is the pesticide contamination. Our pesticide levels in the effluent were below detectable limits for all of the pesticides tested.